You may not be aware of it, but there's a big controversy in Washington with the EPA as to whether or not they should let states increase the amount of alcohol added to gasoline. What we hope to show today is that there is no increased pollution from E15 or 15% alcohol over 10% alcohol, and there's no reason to delay allowing states to do what they want to do to clean their own air. With that, let's go to the shop. The vehicle we're going to be testing today, it's the 1979 Pontiac Trans Am that Daryl Hannah drove in Kill Bill. By anyone's definition, this is an older vehicle. And this is what the EPA claims to be worried about, which is possibly older vehicles won't be able to run E15 or 15% alcohol and be as clean as they would be on gasoline. So we're gonna run tests today on this vehicle with gasoline, E10, which is currently permitted, and E15, which many states wanna use. So let's talk to Bob Butler, who will be performing our test today. And we'll be using his equipment in this California state certified smog testing station. So what will we be looking at here as you do the test? What we basically have here is four gas analyzer. We're gonna be looking at hydrocarbons, CO, uh, CO2, NOx. We'll be able to see our miles per hour. And what we're gonna do with this setup is uh, we'll be able to test the vehicle at 25 miles per hour with a 25% load on the vehicle. And what that'll do is that'll simulate uh, basically a portion of an actual official smog inspection that this vehicle would receive. We're gonna be testing E15. We'll get the car warmed up and give her a go. Let's do it. All right. Thanks, Bob. There's our time marks on them. It's minute 30. Minute 30, two minutes, and two thirty. Okay, so there they are, four in a row. So it's good that we did a, a two minute test or so to see what was going on. What we're gonna do now is test E10, which is what the federal government permits, and then we'll see what those numbers are before we go to regular gasoline. So Bob, uh, we didn't ask this about E15, but would E10 and E15, looking at these numbers, pass? Oh. Oh, absolutely. The, those are, to me, those look like below average and definitely passing numbers. Well, so there's E10. We've got two thirds of the test done. Now it's time to compare to what we in California call regular gas. But it's not really regular gas, is it, Bob? Not exactly. Uh, all, all California gasoline sold at every gas station, every pump in California has up to 5.7% alcohol already in it. So why is that little bit of alcohol in the gas? Uh, basically, as you said earlier, it's to oxygenate the fuel and to decrease the CO emissions. So even though we're going to be testing raw gas here, we're likely to see pretty low CO emissions on our test. Right? We should, yes, because we already have a portion of alcohol in the gas. So this is E57, which is as close to pure gas as we get in California. <laughs> Uh, E10 and E15 are just a little cleaner than, than this. What I have here is the um, the best reading for E15. So that's this top one right here. And this one was the best reading for E57 or what passes for regular gas. So this is what you have in the tank today out there in California. This is what we would have if we were allowed to have E15. So here we're looking at something that's only a couple of percent of the legal amount, almost not even worth mentioning, and this is three or four times as, four, over four times as much uh, without the E15. And let's look at the NOx. With E.57, this one, and E15, we're over 99% cleaner, and we're not being permitted to use E15? I don't get it. So, you know, any alcohol is good alcohol when it comes to being put in uh, gasoline to clean it up and it seems like the more you put in the better and you know the surprising thing is the EPA knows this and yet they have to test it again. Here's the proof. You know we just take this car and we show you very consistently that E15 is better than E10 and all of it's better than gasoline by itself. This is Bob Butler from the historic Highway 40 Auto Care Center in Auburn. We have Dave Stoltz from Pacific Flyer who did all the mechanic work. Of course, we have to thank Daryl Hanna for providing our car for this test. My name's Dave Bloom. You can learn more about me and my work at alcoholcanbeagas.com.